Yo, what is going on guys? We are back for another live in the RU tier today. I'm a little upset right now because I tried to do a recording with a friend. Uh, Tony, you guys already probably know him, but um, uh, pretty much failed because Camtasia plus Showdown plus I'm not going to go over this all, all again, but uh, my computer is just, yeah, I need a new one. Anyway, um, we are using a two ghosts team uh, that we built together as a really cool team. It's got a scarfed uh, explot on it with boom burst, fire blast, surf, and ice beam. Obviously, you sacrificed a little bit of the power from specs, uh, but scarf uh, explot is really good with spike stacking. As you guys can see, we have a, an Acel Goron here, Rocks Rhyperior, paired with a specs magneton to trap steel types like a Scavalier and things like that. Uh, also got a Spirit Tomb on here to trap Del Foxes, which would otherwise pretty much tear through our team. Uh, and Jellison to eat up hits from things like Typhlosion, things like that, so let's get a game. Let's try to get one at this hour. I don't know if we're going to be able to get one. I uh, may have just played Nexus in my last game. Uh, I don't know if the Black Oprah is still his alt, but uh, or if it's just Black Oprah. Uh, I'm going to have to check that out later, but uh, got a nice little team here. Uh, Boom Burst put in, uh, puts in a lot of work on my opponent's team. It hits the uh, Duskull, so not the Duskull, the uh, Dusclops. So, uh, looking for that to sweep again. Uh, spike stacking is just so good. My opponent does have a Zatu. I'm going to be looking out for that. Um, probably going to go into it right here. So, I might want to pull a switch into Rhyperior as a result. Uh, and that is what I'm going to do. If anything, he's going to fire off a, a fire move right here. Expect this to be his Mega. Obviously, he doesn't have another one on the team. Uh, very nice team, though, with a spin and a uh, magic bouncer. So, uh, he's going to throw out an earth power, actually, which is a little surprising, uh, seeing as how I resist that. But um, we should be faster than this thing. Uh, should be able to go for an earthquake and do a lot of damage to it. So, I don't know if he's actually going to stay in. I'm going to throw off a rock blast right here. He is going to stay in and risk the. Uh, the kill from the earthquake, but he's just gonna throw off another earth power. That's fine. I have a Jellicent, I have an X Cloud, so um, gonna go into Jellicent right here, threaten this thing out immediately. He's probably gonna want to go into uh, well, actually, he doesn't have a very good uh, skull switch, not a very good skull switch at all on his team, so uh, probably gonna burn this Dusclops. Let's see. Uh, opponent made a couple of weird plays early on, but uh, that's fine. Uh, we do not get the burn, unfortunately. I am just gonna taunt this thing, keep it go from going for anything funny. Uh, Zia is going to go for a Toxic. We're going to throw off another Skull right here. Uh, he cannot beat us with uh, Seismic Toss because that doesn't hit us. And we'll just be able to keep throwing off Skulls here. Try to get a burn on something. Uh, would love it on this Dusclops. Apparently this Dusclops cannot touch Delicent, so that's good to know. Going to be able to switch into it every time. Obviously can't switch into a Toxic, but uh, we have Magneton for that. So uh, My opponent is just going to go into his Drapion uh, as we are going to Scald that and get a burn. So uh, I won't say deserved, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's a couple of weird plays from my opponent. I'm still a little bit low on the ladder, but we're just going to throw in... Um, what are we going to throw in here? Actually, I can probably just Scald again. Uh, knockoff's not going to do too much with the burn. Uh, that would have done a lot if he wasn't burned, but uh, I'm just going to be able to whittle this thing down to the point where burn will be able to take it out next turn. Going to go for another knockoff. We're going to heal all that off with Recover. Back up to 85%. We're still walling one Pokemon on his team completely. We Oko another one. He's pretty much forced into Swallow at this point, I think. Yeah, there it is. And uh, Magneton's coming straight out. If it's special and he goes for a Heat Wave, then good play on my opponent's part. Goes for a U-turn. Okay, very nice. And uh, I think Camera Up's coming in here, but uh, nothing I can do about that. I will just go into... Uh, actually, I think I might just stay in and Flash Cannon this thing for damage. Might be my play. I also have a Spirit Tomb in the back. I don't know how well it takes Earth Power with its low HP stat. So, um, he might just swap it up for a Fire move at this point as well. I could probably just go into Jellicent. I should be able to live the Earth Power, no problem. Uh, he does go for a Hidden Power or Grass, I guess. Um, I'm just going to throw off another Scald right here, try to get another Burn on something. We already know the, du the Dust Clops cannot touch us, so we can just taunt it every time. Uh, Swallow coming in is a little bit of an issue, but he's going to bring in his hip on top. Let's see if we can burn this as well. Uh, does 25%. That's a good amount. And we do get the burn right there, and we will be able to recover up once again. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very unfortunate. He does go for a Toxic. He is faster than us, so we're going to have to get out of here. Uh, I'm probably just going to go into Spirit Tomb at this point because he can't really touch that. Uh, actually, a Silicor might be the play. Or x -Plowed. He's not going to go for a Fighting-type move right here, so I'm just going to go into x -Plowed and fire off a Boom Burst at this point. And uh, try to nuke something. Uh, pretty much anything on his team is going down at this point, except maybe the Dusclops, because we are Scarfed and not Specs. So, uh, it's looking good. Should be able to finish off this game. A couple of fortunate burns on our part. 
Uh, should have probably not predicted as much early game. My opponent's going to choose to go into Dusclops right here. And uh, I think I'm just going to switch back into Jellison at this point. Might be my play. Yeah, I'm going to switch into Jellicent. He goes for a Pain Split, that's fine. He's going to go for another Toxic, so there we go. Able to stop that thing from Toxicking up. Just going to Taunt right here. As uh, we already know that's Physical Swallow from the U-turn, so we do have a solid switch into Magneton every single time. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's looking okay. Um, he's going to predict the Taunt and go into Zatu and actually bounce the Taunt back at us, which is a good play. Uh, but now I can go into Spiritomb and trap this thing with Pursuit, so... Don't know how good of a play that was, but uh, going to be able to get off a lot of damage on the Zatu. Potentially Oko, I'm not sure. Uh, don't really know Spiritomb's uh, rolls on anything, for that matter. Uh, Dusclops is going to come out. I am just going to taunt this as well, I believe. We should be faster. And uh, again, he won't be able to touch us. We are dual taunt, dual ghosts. Uh, goes for a Toxic, that's fine. We're just going to Pursuit Trap this thing. He can't really do anything to us, uh, once again. And um, gonna get off a little born damage on this. This should do a lot. Uh, yeah, this does 56%. So that thing is pretty much neutralized. This is going to Hitmon top. We already know this thing is also carrying Toxic. So I will just switch into Magneton here, actually. And then I'm gonna throw off a Flash Cannon at this point. He goes for the Toxic. That's fine. We're just gonna go for a Flash Cannon. I don't know if his um, close combat would have actually taken us out because he's burned. But uh, Camera Up is going to come back in here. I'm just going to Flash Cannon again. I don't have any use for this Magneton anymore, really. I'm uh, just going to weaken this thing. And uh, he's going to go for a Fire Blast. That's fine. And with his Zatu still alive, I can't. I still can't set up. But now I can go into x -Plot and just fire off a Boom Burst. Choice Scarf Boom Burst should be able to knock this thing out from the range it's at. Should also be able to take out the Dusclops, no problem. We are Scrappy, so we will be able to hit it. Goodbye. And now I think Swallow comes back in. Swallow is a little bit of an issue. I should have probably kept Magneton alive for that thing, but um, he's not. Uh, he doesn't have his guts boost yet, so I don't know if Brave Bird actually takes us out because we do have a lot of HP. I just want to calc this. Um, Explod. Doesn't matter if I give it the choice spec set. That doesn't really do anything. Uh, to Swallow. Swallow. How? How? Okay, we're still lagging a little bit here. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but. Uh, let's say choice specs, it doesn't really matter. Um, well, no, this actually, this one actually matters. Uh, we need to see how much his, um, his, uh, Brave Bird does to us without being badly poisoned. So, healthy, uh, Brave Bird does not knock us out, so I am just gonna fire off another Boom Burst right here. We are Scarfed and we're able to take out the Swallow. We actually outsped it, which I'm really surprised about. And, uh, now he doesn't have a solid switch into this anymore. And that should be the game from here. I really thought that Swallow was going to put in a lot more work on me, but apparently not. It didn't have enough speed to, to take me out. Uh, my opponent says GG. I'll say GG as well. He just uh, disconnects, I guess. Um, and doesn't even forfeit. But uh, we'll leave that game open for now. We'll get another one right away. And uh, we are at 8 minutes, so that's looking pretty good. Opponent has a very threatening team. Uh, but he doesn't have hazard removal. And he doesn't have a way to stop it either. So let's go lead with a Selgor. And uh, we don't have hazard removal either, but I don't think it does as much to us as it does to him. Um, the Steelix does not appreciate being weak, and neither does the Verizion. I mean, again, I'm just going for the Scarf Sweep. And uh, I'm just going to Spikes right here. Uh, we're not running any HP on a, on a Selgor, so he can potentially take us out. If he's max speed, then he's speed tying me right here. And it does seem like he is max speed. He could also potentially be Scarfed. Why can I not scroll over my Pokemon? A Selgor is always weird because its sprite is actually like here for like scrolling over. Um, I'm just going to switch out into Spirit Tomb right here on the next Bug Buzz, which is what I'm expecting my opponent to go for. It does 36%, very good amount. Uh, I'm just going to Pursuit Trap him here. Expect him to want to switch out and keep this thing because it does seem like it's a more offensive variant of a Selgor. If it is Sash, we'll knock it down to its Sash uh, when he switches out. This thing has piss poor defenses, so uh, it does go for Spike. Very nice. Uh, gonna go for the Pursuit. It's not gonna work. Uh, I'm just going to Will O Wisp this thing at this point. It's gonna set up another layer of Spike. That's fine. I'm gonna miss the Willow, so that's unfortunate. I'm gonna go for it again. Nothing really wants to switch into it. And uh, he's gonna Encore me in a Willow. I was going for it anyway. Thank you. And uh, now let's go. Let's see, what are we going to? I'm going to go into my own Aselgorg now that I know he's not Scarfed. 
and uh, he goes for a bug buzz, so good play on his part. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's eventually going to go down to burn, so I'm actually going to go into Rhyperior, because uh, unless he has Energy Ball, he can't really touch me. And I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks at this point, get up another layer. Uh, Stealth Rocks are really going to help with the Braviary as well, so we'll see if he has the ball. If he doesn't, then he won't be able to knock us out at all. He won't be able to do any damage to us, as a matter of fact. As he goes for his last layer, that's fine. We are going to get up the rocks right there. I'm assuming he's going to Encore me into that. And knowing that, I'm going to switch into Jellicent on this turn. And uh, be able to take any hit he wants to go for. He goes for the Encore, of course. And now we're going to... Taunt, uh, no, not Taunt. Recover. On, uh, on whatever he goes for afterwards. So, Again, not having any uh, hazard removal is going to hurt both of us this game. But uh, if I can... Play my cards right, I should be able to take this, no problem. Uh, Verizion doesn't knock me out, I believe. Not without a boost, so I'll just burn that. Goes into his own Jellicent. It's going to take 24% on switch. And we will go for the... We are a little bit speedy. We'll go for the Taunt as he goes for his own, so that's fine. Um, I can't throw out a Scald anymore. He can throw out his own. Can also go for the Burn. Uh, I'm going to go into Spiritomb right here. And uh, we'll see what comes out of that. Goes for a Will O Wisp, that's fine. Uh, I am just going to attempt to burn this thing. We'll see how that works out. If he taunts me, he taunts me. There's nothing I can do about that. He actually switches into his Houndoom, which is a good play, as I will not be able to uh, Will O Wisp that thing. He actually gets the Flash Fire boost. Uh, and I don't know if Scarf X Plowed. It should outspeed this, right? Um, one. Eh, maybe not. Hold on. Let me think about that. Uh, 235, 235. How did I build this thing? Hold on. Need a calculator. Can't do this in my head. 235 times 1.5 equals 352. So yeah, we don't outspeed this. I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch. If he goes for a Nasty Plot, then he goes for a Nasty Plot. There's nothing I can do. Um, and we might lose this one because of uh, letting him spike stack all over me. But, uh, no, Rhyperior should be able to take a hit. If he doesn't set up, then we're okay. Uh, yeah. That's good. He goes for Sucker Punch of his own. Cool, cool. Um, so, I don't know if this thing runs HP Grass in this tier for Rhyperior, but... Uh, let's see. What can we do? Alright, so we are faster than his Houndoom because I was thinking Mega Houndoom, actually, for some reason. He can go for the Sucker Punch on Xplod, for sure. I'm gonna go into Rhyperior. I'm just gonna do it. If he has it, he has it. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm just gonna throw off an Earthquake right here. Attempt to hit something extremely hard. I mean, he can go into his Verizion pretty much for free, but... Uh, I'm gonna try to take out this Houndoom because it's the biggest threat to me right now. And I think I just need to fire off some Fire Blasts with, uh, with Exploud at this point, once this thing goes down. Obviously, Jellicent is a very solid switch, but I'm expecting Steelix to want to come in on, uh, on an Exploud. Like, specially defensive Steelix should be good to come in. If we can knock that thing out, then we can start spamming Boom Burst. Chooses to go into Jellicent. He's going to take a lot from this Earthquake. His max attack adamant. Uh, he should be faster than us, though. Don't really want to stay in on a Skull, so I'll just switch into Jellicent here. He will be able to knock us out, so really don't want to deal with this. And uh, he's probably going to recover anyway, uh, as he does. And I'm going to attempt to Will-O-Wisp. And see if uh, if we are actually speed tied. I'm using the standard Jellicent set, so again, I'm forced to switch out right here. Uh, you can get off a of free skull. I'm gonna go into Magneton, and I think I'm going to go for the HP Fire, predicting a Steelix to come in at this point. There's nothing else I can do. Uh, he goes for the Willow Wisp. Okay, interesting. Doesn't go for the Scald. Um, yeah, yeah, Steelix is definitely coming in right here. Got to go for the HP Fire. I know he can't risk me going for an electric move, so uh, this is going to do quite a bit of damage to specs, and Steelix does, Steelix does not have the best special defense, so uh, if he switches out right here, he is in range of Boom Burst afterwards, so I'm kind of hoping he does. Um, alternatively, I would be okay with him just sacking his Steelix as well, that's cool too. Awesome, alright, cool, so now we can spam electric moves on my opponent. Uh, he can go into his Houndoom right here. I don't know if Houndoom actually gets pursued, I don't think it does. We can still very much win this game. We just need to play right. It goes into Verzion. Okay. Uh, I'm going to HP Fire again. I'm not letting him Swords Dance for free. I'm letting Magneton go down. 
That's fine. Close combat can take me out. Uh, special defense is lowered, so Xcloud should, in theory, be able to take this out with a boom burst right here. Uh, Jellicent can't come in because it'll take uh, rocks plus spikes. Uh, he's actually faster than us, so that means he's scarfed. Uh, so we can go into Jellicent. And I have to make a 50-50 prediction right here. Uh, and predict either Houndoom or Jellicent to want to come in. And I think I'm going to predict Houndoom to come in here. As it does. Okay, cool. So we're able to take that out. And uh, Scarfed um, Verizion, I think, just sweeps me up anyway, though. With Leaf Blade at this point. Very nice set. Very underrated. Uh, we're just going to X out of this battle because we should have won. Yeah, there we go. His Jellison comes in. I'm, uh, again, going to try to speed tie. He's faster. Uh, and I have to just scald here. As my opponent will more than likely just go for Will O Wisp. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to uh, to forfeit this game. It's pretty much lost at this point. When I lost Magneton, I did not ex expect a, uh, a scarfed Verizion to sweep me up. Um, but it's still a pretty good team. I think it functions relatively well. Uh, okay, so Hitmonlee is going to have a hard time with Spirit Tomb. Uh, Metacham as well. So this is looking pretty good. We got the Magneton for the uh, for the Escavalier. And uh, something just fell off uh, my wall here. Let me just fix this up real quick. Staple that. There we go. All right. So more than likely lead is Lantern, I think. Um, Aselgore is just safe for me. He can also fake out with Metacham, so it's maybe not the best. But I am just going to lead Aselgore. As he does lead with Metacham, I'm going to switch directly into Spirit Tomb here. I do not want this thing uh, faking me out and breaking my Sash. And then we will go for the pursuit on the Metacham. So uh, he shouldn't be able to touch our Spirit Tomb at all, like at all. Both of his stabs don't touch me. Fake Out doesn't touch me. He can have a coverage move, but there's nothing really that's that's gonna hurt Spirit Tomb. Uh, it's a pretty free switch for me right here. I mean, he could predict it, uh, but then why would you have led Metacham in the first place? Ghost for Zen Headbutt. So we are gonna be able to pursue trap this thing and do a lot of damage to it on its switch. I'm assuming that it is choice. Most Metachams are. Uh, either Choice Banded or Choice Scarf. We're going to get off a lot of damage right there as my opponent chooses to go into a Scavalier to get burned, I guess. Uh, we should be faster than this thing. It doesn't typically run speed. And uh, we are going to get a burn off on his Scavalier as it goes for the knockoff. It's going to get a crit right there. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, but we are going to be able to... I'm just going to click Pursuit right here because um, I'm expecting him to switch. There we go, and he does. Uh, get off a lot of damage on that as well. Lantern comes in. We should be slower than this, definitely. And um, gonna take this as an opportunity to go into Magneton. I think it's fine. I'm fully expecting Water Absorb as well. Uh, Heal Bell comes off for the Escavalier. That's cool. Uh, water Absorb would make more sense with Rhyperior on the team. And that's more than likely Lightning Rod or Solid Rock. Both work. Um, I'm just gonna throw off a Flash Cannon right here. And I'm going to see if my opponent stays in, then he might be Bolt Absorb. If he switches out, then he's uh, he's definitely not, because he'd be fearing the electric move. If, uh, if Rapier comes in, it's going to get nuked by a uh, Flash Cannon, so he does stay in. He's just going to go for the Volt Switch, that's fine. And uh, we are locked into Flash Cannon right here. Uh, my opponent knows at this point that Metacham cannot touch my Spirit Tomb, so I don't think he's going to be bringing that in anytime soon. I did let Spirit Tomb get a little bit weak. But uh, that's okay. And I don't expect the fighting move either because we have two um, ghost types. So I'm just going to throw off a flash cannon. He actually does go for a jump kick when I clearly have two ghost types. All right. Um, I think a cell gore is safe. And I'm going to start spike stacking my opponent. We're going to go for the spikes right here. If he goes for a jump kick again, that's fine. We'll see if he's scarfed. If he is, we'll switch into a ghost. And uh, knock out his Metacham afterwards. He is banded more than likely. There we go. He knocks us down to our Sash without actually activating our Sash, which is kind of funny. Uh, Bug Buzz should be able to knock this thing out. Alternatively, I could just keep this Aselgore in the back for later. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into Spear Tomb. He's going to miss the high jump. Well, he won't be able to hit me with the high jump kick. And he'll die to uh, the falling damage right there. Uh, again, we are faster than a Scavalier, so that thing's not a problem. I do want to get up one more spike on my opponent. That's why I kept the Selgore in the back. Uh, it's also pretty good for the uh, the Meloetta to be able to hit it with a Bug Buzz a little bit later. Lantern does come in. We are going to switch into... No, we're just going to Willow. Willow's fine. 
Opponent goes for Scald, does a little bit, uh, doesn't get a burn. We're just gonna Will-O-Wisp here. And now I'm gonna switch into X-Cloud on more than likely a Heal Bell right here. And uh, then we have to decide what move we want to lock ourselves into. I do want to weaken the Rhyperior a little bit for the sweep later, so I probably will just go for the Moon Burst. Not going to risk going for a Surf in front of a Lantern, that's kind of dumb. But um, again, my opponent's probably just going to heal Bell right here to get rid of that. Uh, he's actually going to go for Scald, so good play. Uh, not going to get the burn once again, so now his Lantern is burned, and it's stuck in here against an Exploud. Uh, which can pretty much destroy it, so he's going to switch into Rhyperior. We are going to get a little bit of damage off on this thing, not too much. Oh, never mind. Okay, so this thing's offensive. Uh, that did a lot more than I expected it to, guys. Uh, let's go into Jellison here. It's pretty much lose nothing, and uh, he's going to go for the Earthquake. It's going to do a lot to us, but we will be able to Will-O-Wisp right here, I think, is fine. Actually, I'm going to Taunt, uh, just because this Rhyperior cannot stay in on me. There's no way it can. And uh, I'm expecting the Lantern to want to come in. Uh, Meloetta actually comes in. Okay, so interesting play. And I'm going to just go for the Scald, honestly. Um, what do I lose? He's, he can't Calm Mind up. He can't hit me with one of his stabs. Uh, and the other one does a lot, but it doesn't knock me out. I am going to keep this thing around. Uh, I do have a Spirit Tomb, so he can't hit that at all, actually. Uh, like at all and we'll be able to just pursue trap this as well uh, My opponent can go for call mine if he wants. He actually has shadow ball. Okay. I uh, don't know why he didn't go for that on the Jellicent, but anyway um, I'm gonna go into Selgor here and uh, I'm gonna get up my last layer of spike Well, not last but my second layer of spike because it really really helps with the right period I'll just be able to click boom burst from here on out uh, the hitmonlee is a little bit of an issue uh, not too much though. I can definitely deal with it. It shouldn't be able to knock out Rhyperior from full. Uh, that's kind of why I kept Rhyperior uh, in the back. The Escavalier is uh, also kind of an issue, but he does bring out his Hitmon Lee now. And I'm going to switch into Jellicent on the Fake Out, is what I'm expecting to come off right here. Uh, it goes for a Rapid Spin, so we're going to be immune to that. This thing does typically carry knockoff, so I might just want to swap out and sack my Selgor. He obviously does not seem to be the unburdened set, because if he had a normal gem, then his rapid spin would have popped that normal gem. And, um, I can still keep a Selgor, technically. Yeah, um, does this thing's knockoff take me out? Probably. Do I want to lose this, is the question. Rhyperior is in range of a uh, Boom Burst now, after the spikes, so I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, let's just throw off a Scald, honestly. He's got the knockoff, that's fine. Um, he is Life Orb, from what we can see, and uh, that means that uh, Selgor can now... Can I just knock out the Escavalier from the range it's at with a Boom Burst? Probably, right? Um, yeah, let's get up our last layer. Uh, that was actually a bad play because he's just going to spin right here So I have to final gambit so that he can't uh, he's actually gonna mock punch. Okay interesting play now He's definitely in range of, um, of Boom burst and I don't think his mock punch knocks us out. I don't believe so it shouldn't uh, even a life orb mock punch from a hip only uh, And life and boom burst is gonna be able to knock him out. So that's gonna be good right there Really didn't expect him to mock punch the uh, the cell gore, but that's okay um his Escavalier, I don't know if it's actually faster than Rhyperior. Let's see, he went for knockoff earlier. Um, Assault Vest Escavalier can take my hit, right? Explode, choice specs without the specs. Let's get rid of that. And uh, let's see, Escavalier. Escavalier. Assault Vest can definitely take the Boom Burst, so. I'm just going to switch into Rhyperior here. I could potentially be taking a uh, an Iron Head, which I am. I do live. That is a crit. He does not have priority, though. So I can just go for Rock Blast now. And the next time he comes in on Spikes, he might just go down. He, as well, cannot switch right here because Earthquake is going to take out anything. And we're going to get a crit on the first Rock Blast. We're going to hit only two. Uh, but that's fine because x -Cloud wins right now. Uh, with the Lantern burned and coming in on spikes as well as the Rhyperior and the Meloetta, this should pretty much just be game. Boom Burst, knock that out. 
And being Scarfed, uh, we outspeed everything, including the Meloetta. Uh, I think the Meloetta might be able to take my hit, but it won't be able to knock me out. Not with my HP, once again. As uh, Meloetta does come out to attempt to knock me out. Boom Burst is going to go off and bring it down 30%, which is not enough. Uh, does it have leftovers? It does not. So we will be able to go for another Boom Burst. Hopefully, this is not a roll. There we go. That's done. And now... <laughs> Do you take out Lantern? Please tell me you do. Lantern offensive tank with normally a little bit of spadef. Yeah, we don't take it out. Damn, uh, Rhyperior does go down, so he's gonna improve my differential, I guess. Um, unless his Lantern's not specially defensive at all. But even that, uh, yeah, we can't take it out. There's no way. Um, he says GG, though. I'm gonna say GG. I'm not... I'm not Specs, man. You definitely live. Like, no problem. Your, your spadef plus your HP allows you to live this. Um, 42%, yeah. I said GG too, because I know it's over for me. He's just gonna knock me out here. Unless I get a crit, that's that's literally the only way I can win. Is if I crit this Lantern. This Lantern does come out at 47. Um, actually, if he's running no spadef investment, this is a roll. So let's see. Go for it. Hey, we got it. There we go. Awesome. So we were able to knock out the lantern and take that win. So that's uh, two wins, one loss. Uh, I cut it really close there at the end. I wasn't expecting the Meloetta to take the Boom Burst that well. I guess it was uh, especially defensive or even an AV set because we, we saw Shadow Ball. So uh, that's probably what it was. Um, I'm not going to calc it right now. You guys can calc it if you want. But uh, guys, if you enjoyed, uh, hit that like button down below. I really like this team. It's really cool. If, uh, if you guys want it, uh, let me know as well in the comments. Uh, or on Twitter or on Facebook both are in the description as always um, Let me know what you thought and um, Subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see any of these lives that I put out four to five times a week If you want to see my league matches which come out on Friday Saturdays and Sundays and uh, as always guys Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Ciao